Welcome to Unreal Tips and Tricks. This is part one of a two-part presentation on variant management. In part one, we're going to learn how to use a variant manager to create and set up a level variant set asset, providing you with an easy way to switch between multiple different variants or options. In part two, we're going to build a car configurer that allows you to turn variants on and off in a runtime experience with the blueprint functions provided by the level variant set actor class. In this presentation, we're going to be using the Variant Manager to switch between two different wheel options on our vehicle. The first step when working with the Variant Manager is the creation of a new Level Variant Set asset. And this is done by clicking the Add New button in the upper left-hand corner of the Content Browser, going to the Miscellaneous folder, and selecting Level Variant Sets. So with that added into my Content Browser, let's rename this to something slightly more meaningful. We'll call this Car Level Variant Sets and we'll drag and drop it from our content browser into the viewport to add it to our current level. Once that's completed, the next thing that we want to do is display the variant manager. And this is easily done by double clicking on the level variant set icon in the content browser. So here we are presented with the variant manager, and this is where we can start to define our variant sets as well as the different options that will live inside of those variant sets. So let's go ahead and click on the variant set icon in the upper left hand corner to create a variant set that will hold the options for our wheels. So with this variant set created, I'm going to rename it by right clicking on top of it and selecting rename. So we'll give this a new name and we'll call it variant set wheels. Next, we'll create our first variant to represent the wheels in their current dark state. Click the plus icon on the variant sets wheel bar to create the first variant. Go ahead and rename that again by right clicking on top of it and selecting rename. So we'll call this variant dark. So with the naming completed, the next step is to associate one or more static meshes with this variant or with this option. And this is done by simply going to the world outliner and selecting the actors that you want associated with this option or this variant. And you'll notice that my dark wheels and my light wheels are both comprised of several static mesh actors. Now we'll select both sets of wheels by holding down the control key and we'll drag and drop the wheels from the world outliner onto our variant to create the bindings. As soon as I let go of the mouse button, you'll notice that the capture new actors and properties window has been displayed. This is where we can define which properties we want the variant manager to look at or manage for these actors. And this example is pretty simple. So all we need to look at is root component visibility. So we'll go ahead and we'll check that on and then click the select button to complete the operation. Now you'll notice in the variant manager that variant dark has two actors associated with it. And if I highlight one of the actors, the properties and its current value are now displayed. So obviously the dark wheels are checked on, the value is a positive state for that Boolean switch. And the light wheels, the visibility value is disabled or checked off. So it's all pretty straightforward. So now that we have our first variant or option defined for the dark wheels, let's go ahead and create one for the light wheels. And we can do this extremely quickly by taking the work that we've already done and duplicating it. Just go back to variant dark, right click on top of it and select duplicate. So we now have a second variant in our variant set wheels called variant dark zero. So let's go ahead and rename that guy again to something slightly more meaningful. We'll call this one variant light. And the next step is obviously to go to the properties for each of these actors and change the visibility state. So notice what happens in the viewport when I turn off the value of visibility for the dark wheels. Nothing changed in the viewport. This happens because the variant manager hasn't pushed that information back into the level. At any time, if you want to visualize the current state of a value for a given property, all you have to do is right click on top of it and select apply recorded values. As soon as I do that, you can see that now the viewport represents actually what's going on inside of the variant manager. So let's do the same exact operation for the wheels that are light. Let's click on the light wheels, we'll go to its visibility and we'll change its state to an on state for that Boolean switch. And again, if I wanna see the value of that property represented in the viewport, all I have to do is right click on top of properties and select apply recorded value. So now we've set up two variants, one for the dark wheels and one for the light wheels. To switch between these variants and see the change happen, all you have to do is double click on the actual variant. So if we go over to the variant and double click on variant dark, obviously it switches on and displays the variant dark. 
And of course, if we double click on variant light, we'll start to display that set of options. So the final step is to record a couple of thumbnails that visually capture what these variants are. So we'll just zoom in on the wheel. We'll go to variant light. We'll right click on top of it and we'll create a thumbnail. And let's do the same thing for the dark option. So double click on variant dark to turn those on, right click and say create thumbnail. So that was just a simple example of how we can use the variant manager to quickly change between two different wheel options. This is part one of a two part demo. In the second part, we're gonna build a car configurer that works in the runtime built on top of the variant manager using a custom user interface with the help of some blueprint code. Hopefully you guys check it out and enjoy it. Cheers, everybody.